ones that's supposed to be protected, right? But when it comes down, they run. So I don't know what to call them. Runner? What? Or just run cop? Or runners? Or runners? Yeah. Let these motherfuckers know what city and state we in, man. Out in California, town business, man. Please believe it, nigga. The mecca of the bay, man. The founders of the motherfucking Black Panthers. Biggest gang in the United States. See what I'm talking about? And hey, what projects do we at right now, man? Acorns. These are acorns. The Tories acorns, yes. You know what I'm saying? On everything. Niggas know about these motherfuckers, though. Man, what's that right there coming up out your shirt, man? It's that, it's that water gun, man. You know what I'm saying? I got you like my little sunroom. It's a little orange thing. I spray paint that motherfucker. See what I mean? Spray paint that motherfucker. Nigga don't got nothing less than 30. Hold on, let me see that. Put yeah. that motherfucker in the light, man. Nothing less than 30. Small shit, though. Right, Build this behind me, man. These high rises, man. You know what I mean? No, it's, it's, it's all acorn though, you feel what I'm saying? Acorn the dominant force around here, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the, in the 20 mile radius, nigga, everything is MOB, nigga, everything, everything around here come up under that Felix Mitchell act, man, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all seen, y'all seen the documentary, Felix yeah. from down here. You this thing is a game, right? When I tell them, I, I ain't gonna show y'all the, the whole 27 bullet wounds. Oh, y'all don't worry about that, man, that's that Jet League, though. Right, I ain't gonna show y'all the whole 27 bullet wounds. I got all bullet wounds on my hands and all type of shit. Where we at right now, though? Acorn Jets, once again. Yeah, that's that's that bag off. We can set it up in there, man. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know what Nigga, being in this, being, being in this field, man. I hear him up in here. Hey, right, nigga, say what's up to my guy. I mean, I mean, you know. I'm gonna tell you why I got hit up in this motherfucker being stupid. Because nigga have, nigga have money. That ain't supposed to be out here. What's going on? Fuck, nigga, this the Mac, nigga. Lay shit down, nigga. Hey, right. hey, hey, one more time and let me and let me see what you call a meal. Show me that thing one man, more time. Man, we call this a meal. You heard it, man. You probably heard that shit. Pop, pop, yes, pop, 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 pop. You feel me? He on the tongue on him though, right? But he ain't. <laughs> oh, you see that? See that little vehicle right there? Y'all yeah. see a? Y'all see? Y'all see that color? I'm looking at it as a. I look at it a color orange. So that motherfucker's gonna be Swiss cheese. You know what I mean? Shit going. Hold up, that hair shit going on. We ain't stopping this shit. We outside all night. Fuck you, man. Come on, man, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Take the spike. Go up top. Go up top. Come up top. They ain't even baking me. I don't even play with it no more. Are you? That's what I hate about events like this, though. Niggas can't ever just come out and have fun. Oh, God. I hate that shit. Ooh. We want to continue all efforts to, towards reducing trauma associated to each incident of violence within the city of Oakland. Now at five, a violent 11 hours in Oakland, three shootings, four people dead, and no apparent connection. So far, no arrests in this latest violent crime spree. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Greg Lee. OPD says the total number of homicides this year is now 57. Our crime reporter Henry Lee here now after getting the latest from Oakland police. Henry. Yeah, Greg and Julie, these homicides have happened across Oakland before dawn and in broad daylight with no apparent connection to each other. Investigators have been scrambling to keep up with the violence going from one scene to the next. A man was found shot and killed in the driver's seat of a Jaguar near 106th and Bancroft in East Oakland. It happened at about 1130 Wednesday, marking the city's fourth homicide of the day. Any loss of life is tragic and traumatic experience for the family and friends of those involved. Interim Oakland Police Chief Darren Allison says no arrests have been made in the spree of violence. Sadly, in the span of 10 hours, the city of Oakland experienced four homicides, two of which occurred in one incident. At this time, we do not believe any of these incidents are connected. 
A man and a woman were killed in the city's first homicide of the day. It happened at about 1 in the morning at a home near 89th Avenue and D Street. Then, at about 5 in the morning, a woman was shot and killed near 18th Avenue and East 12th Street in the city's San Antonio neighborhood. A man was wounded in the shooting and showed up at a hospital. This is a group of people using their car to yank the gate off one of his stores before running in and stealing nearly everything. It's very dangerous, and we never seen it this bad. Ali and his family have owned stores in Oakland for 30 years. He says many of his stores have been robbed in the last two years. This incident happened just two weeks ago. They wrapped the chain around the gate and pulled the whole storefront out. And they were in there shopping. I mean, they were in there for like 20, maybe 10 minutes. Ali knows numerous other stores in Oakland being aggressively robbed. This video shows thieves running up to another one of his stores with an assault rifle before running away. Oakland police confirmed to ABC 7 News they are investigating at least two burglaries in the last week. On Monday, they say these kinds of crimes have gone up. What we've seen throughout the city, uh, including Little Saigon International, and even some of our uh, business corridors, is increase in robberies and burglaries, um, robberies, street-level robberies, as well as auto burglaries, and in some regards, commercial burglaries. Oakland police say thieves are targeting stores that have large amounts of cash inside and stores that carry high-end merchandise. Business owners say crime has reached a new level. Now it's like guns, guns, guns. Everything's guns. And that's really very frightening. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it makes me want to tell, I would, I tell my son we should get an office somewhere else. Overall, shootings have increased 6% since last year, according to Oakland police. There have been 87 homicides this year, the same as last year this time. The numbers include nine shootings and four homicides since Friday. The latest shooting happening just hours ago at 19th and Foothill Boulevard. But Oakland right now really needs to get serious about crime and driving and guns. In a press conference today, Mayor Sheng Tao did not respond to questions related to the recent violence. After the city has gone nearly the entire year without a permanent police chief, Tao says she's still waiting on the police commission to submit their recommendations. It should get tricky at. So about, um, I think it was probably like 10 years ago or like 11 years ago. Um, my bro Savion right there, he was out here. So, so about 10 years ago, um, I had sit, I was right here. I was standing behind this gate, right here. This the black gate. The people who hear me rap, they know about this black gate. So I'm standing behind this gate right here. Boom. I get a dolphin some money to go to the store for me. So he go to the store. So I close the gate, right? Boom. I close the gate. Boom. I'm standing right here. I'm just chilling. So the dolphin come back from the store. He hand me my shit. As soon as he hand my shit, I hear pop. I'm like, what the fuck? So I hear a pow again. Now look, you see them bushes right there? Right there? Yeah, nigga was standing across the street. And the bushes shooting at me. I'm like, oh shit. So I turn around, boom. I got hit in the head, bam. And I fell right there, boom. I'm like, what the fuck? I jumped right back up. And at the time, my Uncle JJ, God bless the dead, he was out here. I'm looking for him like, JJ, JJ, JJ. So I come in the house, boom. This little door right here. Boom. Blood everywhere. My boy, like I just showed you on camera, he was inside the house. So he come out like, what the fuck? Woo woo. You was tripping at the moment. You was like, what the sure, fuck going yeah. on? But by that time, the assailants had disappeared. So they rushed me to the hospital. Rushed me to the hospital. But it was crazy because um, the, the whole time, you? no, it hit me. It hit you. The bullet hit you in your head. Yeah, it hit me. It went in and came out. Devo Antoine. Devo. Right now, we like in the, towards the end of the east, right now, you feel me? So that's why I said, so that's why I said deep east Oakland, because we towards the end, you feel me right now, so. West Oakland, like 37 blocks, you feel me? In the north, probably like 40 blocks, you feel me? So all together, Oakland probably like, probably like 300 blocks, you feel me? So some people think Oakland hella big, but it's not, it's really kind of small. small. You feel me, it ain't hella big, you feel me though? So oh, the east, like 105 blocks, the west, probably like about 37 blocks, and the north, like 40 something blocks, you feel me though? So the north, Ice City, and the west, you feel me, the gutter, the west, like more gutter, more grimy, more dirtier, you feel me? And the east, like more, 
flashy, you feel me? Yep. Like more flashy, more stun, more bar, more stun. The East land of the stunners. Feel me? All the stun, all the flashy shit. All the shit y'all see. All the shit y'all see about Oakland, mostly East Oakland. You know what I'm saying? All the hyphy shit, all, all the cars and jumping out of the car, all that shit, East Oakland shit. It's that old school shit. Life <laughs> So why the Cougar? Cause that's an East Oakland classic. Yeah. and Cougars, that's what we ride. In our last interview, you said most street guys don't have 100K. And a lot of people, I thought a lot of people were gonna, I thought the response was gonna be different. A lot of people agree with that. And, and a lot of people say shit, a lot of street guys don't have 10K. Man, it was so hard for me to get 10K in the street. I ain't lying. 10K <clears throat> in the streets, standing on the corner. Think about it. Then you got people begging. This is what starts the problems. All my niggas from the streets gonna understand this. If you had one ounce, right, and you sell that whole ounce, and you may say you doubled your money, not spending any money, not gonna go buy no, not even a pair of Jordans, not even gonna go loan your mama $50. This is real free game right here. If you loan your mom $50 or say, man, I'm a real nigga, I sold one zip, I'm gonna give my mama 100, but I can't go buy two after I sold this one. You kind of get what I'm saying? So if you yeah, give your mom yeah. 100 and try to do the right thing, then you still stuck at one. And every time you repeat the same, as me, in my life, I played it like a video game. Every time you repeat that same level, you taking like an extra man off of your life and you extending your time in the streets. Because once you get to a certain amount of weight, you don't have to stand outside. You get what I'm saying? So a per they will call a person stingy if you say, well, no, I don't have no money until I get to 16. But people actually seeing you make money and they're counting your pockets and they saying, well, you have enough to give me. And I know you're an entrepreneur. You know that I don't have to get enough to give because I've just put all of it in my investment. Yeah. So imagine going through, I could see that what raised me to get kicked out because I'm trying to do this 16 times. Yeah. Then once I'm 16 times, I'm going to be straight enough. I might can loan you 500 and it don't hurt me. Yeah. But if I loan you 500 now, I get keep getting stuck at this level and I don't know how long it's going to take me to get out. Now you on a hamster wheel. Now I'm on a hamster wheel. You know what I mean? You will have a dude, you know, be at two zips for two years. Because he know, okay, when I sell my two zips, I'm gonna get my drink on Friday and then I'm gonna get my outfit and I'm gonna go to the same club and I'm gonna turn up and then once that get low, I'm gonna get my two zips again. Well, the man authorities believe was behind a decade of bloody Oakland drug wars and killings was buried today and police hope his passing is going to bring to an end an era of brutality in Oakland's turbulent history. But even in the end, this funeral today was flashy and controversial and the city really couldn't do anything about it. Channel 7's Ed Leslie has details for us. The funeral of Felix Mitchell was a wonder. Bay horses leading. Rolls Royces following. He was the drug lord of East Oakland who made twenty to thirty thousand dollars a day selling narcotics in a slum, ending up murdered in prison. Some role model. He cool. He real cool. I like the way he died. You know, he died in staff. Thirty-two-year-old convicted drug racketeer Felix Mitchell was stabbed to death last week in his cell at Leavenworth. Mitchell was convicted in San Francisco federal court earlier this year after allegations that he was the kingpin in an East Oakland heroin dealership that featured fancy cars, flashy parties, and murders. Murders including victims who had nothing to do with Mitchell's mob, innocent people who were killed merely by accident. His neighborhood, however, was divided today on whether Felix Mitchell was a hero or a villain. You put some jobs here, maybe we won't have this on the streets of Oakland. Go That's ahead. what it takes. Oh, okay. You understand? What he done. He was a good man. And we need to tell the city officials that if they get the jobs out there, then maybe it wouldn't be so much drugs in Oakland. This is East Oakland right here, you feel me? This 6500 straight village, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the most legendary spots in the East, you know what I'm saying? As far as, far as East Oakland is concerned, you know, it wouldn't even be no real East Oakland if it wasn't for 65. It was a point where it was only a few hoods in Oakland. All this other shit is new. You feel me? The village, every hood in the village was an extension. Every hood in the East was an extension of the village. Besides maybe a few spots in the deep and a few spots like in the dubs and shit. Other than that, all that shit was from here. The niggas was over there selling dope and, and all of that shit 
for niggas over here. That was niggas over here getting it lit over there. And that shit eventually just turned into them spots. Them wasn't spots. All of that shit was the mob. All that shit is the village, you feel me? And that's way back in the days before before all the other shit happened when it was one village. But now, this 6'5", man, we've been doing this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? This It wouldn't be no... This this the, the reason they call this shit the city of dope is because of this shit. Yeah. That, that yeah, crack epidemic... Back, I wasn't that, that yeah, song, that crack uh, epidemic and all that shit, all that shit happened right here. That dope the, shit that, got started right, right here. Right here, right here. The Coliseum right there. All the right celebrities, here. all the superstars, Whitney Houston, all them come through in limousines. This motherfucker was a Million dollar a day spot. Yeah. Out there, there's competition. You know, I would love to be the nigga to, to post this nigga album or post this nigga album. I might post this album and his niggas mad at me. The niggas he into it mad at me. I might post this nigga album. Niggas he into it mad at me. You get what I'm saying? I could do it and really not give a fuck, but I don't just I don't want to even fall into the bullshit. You get what I'm saying? But I would love to, to do that. Guys, you tell me to do it all the time. You, you the one who could do it. You could do it. I'm like, bro, like, I still gotta be out here in these streets, bro. You feel me? And, you know, it, it might, nigga might not got no issue with me, but because I posted his ops album cover on a story for 24 hours, he ready to kill a nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause everybody don't rap. So nigga ready to kill a nigga might be just a nigga in the street. You know what yep. I'm saying? But he's still the other nigga op. So I can't, I don't, I don't even got the opportunity to post his album. Cause he don't rap. You know what I'm saying? So I just leave it alone though. But that's what it is. Ain't no unity. Everybody in competition. Everybody wanna be that nigga. Everybody, everybody the best rapper. Everybody the best trapper. Everybody, that's why niggas be so mad. Like, how a nigga doing this? How a nigga still, you feel me? I cuff up where they pop their collar It couldn't be saved by Creflo Dollar Cause I probably never ever see the pearly gate Cause at the pace I'm going now, it'll be too late Can you taste it? Go and smell it You know what that is? Sucker repellent I spray myself with it every moment You did? I spray myself right before I leave the crib Terrifying moments in a Vallejo neighborhood when a suspected burglar broke into a home only to be confronted by the person living there. The suspect in this case was shot and killed during that altercation. Welcome everyone to the four this afternoon. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Claudine Wong. Our crime reporter Henry Lee is live at the Vallejo Police Department with the very latest. Henry. Alex and Claudine has happened in broad daylight at a home right around the corner from the Vallejo Police Department. A burglary suspect was shot and killed by the resident of this Vallejo home. So it's scary. It's so dangerous. It's danger for me. It's danger because we don't know what happened here. It happened near the corner of Georgia and Monterey at about 9.45 Monday morning. Officers spent hours at the scene, diagramming the front porch and the three-bedroom home for evidence. The residence is located not far from the Vallejo Police Department. It's extremely unfortunate, of course, and that it happened around the corner from the police station in the morning. It doesn't make any sense. Athena Miller, like many residents of the city, says the deadly encounter is a grim reminder of the depth some people go to to survive. Man, it's a pleasure, man. Um, I'm just happy, over, over, over happy, elated, looking forward to it. Hey, hey, and, uh, now. Just, just happy, What's man, up? you know what I mean? This is a dream come true. You know, I'm straight from here. You know, this is the soil we used to be at many yeah. years ago when I was a young mustache. And um, God, is, God is great. <laughs> V-Town for sure. Yes. Gotta make it 20. 25, okay? 5,000 here, 30, another 5, 35, huh, right here, that'll make it, that'll bring us in 40, okay, 50, okay, 55, show you how we doing it out here, 55, 60, 65, 
80. 85. 90. 95. I done lost count, but it's probably about 100,000 right here, man. 